Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acting Creative and this is a handwoven experience, episode 22. In this episode, I'm talking all things Weaver's Guilds. Weaver's Guild is a group designed to educate, inspire, and provide community to weavers and other fiber lovers. You can find them in any large city and also some small ones. Matter of fact, in my little town of Chesterton, Indiana, we have the Duneland Weavers Guild. We are right next to the Indiana Dunes, thus the title. So I thought I'd walk you through what it's like to be part of a Weavers Guild. Like I mentioned, the first goal is to educate. At our monthly meetings, they bring in a speaker. Could be someone internally, could be from outside of the group, but they'll discuss different topics different types of weave structures, maybe interesting fibers, maybe a little history, could be anything. But these topics are things that I might not have researched on my own, so it's always fascinating to hear what they have to say. And I think every weaver always has a little different slant, a little different approach to the craft, which is really valuable too. So the second goal of the group is to inspire. We always have show and tell at our meetings. And it's just what it sounds like. You know when you were a kid and you brought in like your favorite stuffed animal? That kind of show and tell. Except in this case, people are bringing in unbelievable woven projects. And whether it's your very first project or you've been weaving for 30 years, they're amazing and always inspiring. And I can say from my experience is that when I have brought in projects, you kind of feel like a rock star. People in the audience are like, hey, what fiber did you use? What's the set of the project? Can you pass it around so we can feel it? I mean, they're so excited and encouraging. And boy, that does something really good for your soul, especially because we're kind of solo artists, weavers are. Which leads me to the third goal of the group which is to provide community. Like I mentioned, weavers typically work alone. So it's really important to have occasions when you're around other weavers, you're around other folks that love fiber art as much as you do. These are folks that have different experiences than you. They're people that have try different things. They look at a project differently. Shoot, they set up a loon differently than I do. It's all really, really valuable. And it helps encourage all of us when we get together and participate and exchange ideas and encouragement. And it's really, really a valuable experience. What does that have to do with you, you ask? If you are a fiber artist, any kind, I would encourage you to see if there's a Weaver's Guild near you attend a meeting, reach out, chat with some folks, meet some other folks, some other people, other weavers, other dyers, spinners, knitters, crocheters, whatever. Chat with them, make some connections. It's gonna help you become a better artist yourself, a better weaver. And at the very least, check out some websites. The Doolin Weavers Guild has a wonderful website full of lots of images and tons of information. It's got a great resource library, all of that kind of good stuff. And if you're not a fiber artist, no worries. Just know that there are groups of weavers gathering all around the world. And isn't that kind of cool to think about? So that wraps up our episode for today. Hope you got a little something valuable out of it. Have a great week, my friend, and happy weaving.